This week on our Life Sprinter segment, we are glad to bring to you view and delight our conversation with the foremost photographer and entrepreneur. He is the CEO of Kayla La Photography, situated on the highbrow Lecky Admiralty Way, Lecky Phase 1. A lot of us find it hard to contain our wild dreams to become profitable assets, but we have found Kayla La to tell us how. On your first visit to his spacious studio, one might think it's a museum or a renowned international gallery. From the gigantic gold frames to the small pieces of metal frames with stunning pictures taken from brilliant angle lends credence to the fact that Kayla La is indeed not here to joke. He told us tales of how he left his aviation job to open a photography studio at Omole. Not satisfied, he left Omole Phase 1 to go sit in the middle of high and mighties of the society, thereby becoming an official photographer to the who is who in the society. Without much ado, let's leave you to enjoy our conversation with the multi-talented photographer Ayokunle Adebusoye Solomon. Thank you. My name is Ayokunle Adebusoye Solomon. I hail from Ondo West, local government in Ondo State. I read accounting in University of Adoikiti. I served in Adamawa State as a teacher and um, three months after my service year, I got my first job with aviation logistics for Virgin Atlantic at International Airport. We're trained on document fraud. We're meant to detect imposters, which is popularly known as Oreo Lori. We're meant to detect uh, fake travel documents, fake passport, fake visas. We've been to Lord, almost all embassies in Nigeria. They train us on their security features on their visas and passports. So whoever is traveling with someone else's passports of imposters were trained to detect. And there I worked for three years. And um, when Virgin Nigeria came, I joined Virgin Nigeria ticketing department and um, there I worked for another three years before I resigned to study photography in Washington School of Photography and uh, London School of Photography. And there I go back to Nigeria and started my business. And um, here we are today. Yeah, the, there's a huge difference between uh, what I was doing before and now. Because um, what I was doing before, I was working for someone. I'm a salary earner. I'm restricted to a lot. Even though when you have something good on mind to say, the management might not want to listen to you. And um, I'm like a slave being paid, waiting for salary every month. And, uh, but now, I'm a business owner. I take risk. I manage risk for my business. I have to think ahead for my business. I have a lot of responsibilities as an entrepreneur. I need to change my world. I need to change the old world. I need to change the world of photography. I need to change the business concept and idea. I need to do something new. I need to go back to school. I have to read. I have family I cater for. I have to think like a man. I have staffs that I cater for, that I pay salary, that I have to direct, control, and manage all the time. So it's a, it's, it's a lot, and it's, the difference is just too huge. You can't compare. Yes, from onset, I knew I'm this active person. I'm restless. I like doing things. I like seeing everything's running. I like, you know. So when I was working 6 to 9 or 6.30 or 7.30 to 5 or shift work and earning salary, I'm restricted to what I'm being taught. And it's the same old process. When I was with Virgin, when I was with Virgin Atlantic, on document fraud and all that as a profiler, when I was with Virgin Nigeria as a ticketing um, reservation officer, we issue tickets and all that, uh, message baggage, advise clients on their travel trips. And um, it's challenging though, because there's a lot to eat and we handle cash. If you get it wrong, you have shortage and you have to pay for it. 
and um, so it's challenging but um, that's not where my strength lies immediately I pull out to start my own business I discover myself like I'm a king maker and uh, since then I've been putting in all effort to streamline all I like doing into one thing and um, today I can see the results over there or right then or I mean then you can only do your best with no reward but when I put in my best now into my business I feel the reward in terms of catch in terms of promotion in terms of fame in terms of um, getting ahead of others and uh, I realize that I'm not meant to work for people we are all we can all be the same some are meant to work for people some are meant to be a leader and I belong to the category of a leader and um, since I discovered myself since I started my business I think ahead of others I think I plan I make plans and it works and um, that's why Kelala is Kelala today when I was Virgin Nigeria we run a shift we run shift morning afternoon and night shift when I'm on night duty while others are sleeping we have free internet there's a woman I met in Texas online that does video editing and video shooting training I spoke with her online and we agreed she's gonna train me she charged me for six months training online training for $180 I talked to my brother in the US and he paid the money and I get online and she trained me and at a point she trained me to a certain level and I became an expert but I need to put it into practice so I need to get a laptop I need to get a camera to start shooting and um, I got my first visa then to London and I remember I saved hard to buy my first camera in um, 2007 um, Canon 7D I bought my first camera Canon 7D and I started shooting and I just went straight into musical video shooting and I did a couple of musical video and uh, from there the idea of photography came in and um, I saved hard with the cooperative department and I got loan and I paid back my loan and I got admitted to Washington School of Photography and I went to study photography and uh, from there I went to London School of Photography and I back to Nigeria to start my business fully and um, here we are today. Um, because photography has a huge memorable values so you can't do without it even though tomorrow iPhone will bring out 60 megapixel phone but man your professional camera will still do justice to those photographs so you can't do without it you can't cut it short you can't cut shots you can't you want a good shot, you want a good image, you want something that will last, memories that will last forever, you need to book a professional wedding photographer or a professional photographer or professional event photographer. So you can't underestimate, you can't underrate photography, you can't, you can't under, underrate these cameras, the skills and um, both technical skills, interpersonal skills behind photography, you can't shut them down. It's good to go for another generation to come. The equipment that will come in, that will roll in, new technology that will roll in, that will set in, new cameras, new softwares are the ones that will be changing. But photography will remain forever. Yeah, the first thing I will say is, number one, make sure you're well equipped before going into the business well equipped in terms of the technical know-how your technical skills your interpersonal skills make sure you're good to go you can give what people want so that whoever works in your way whichever customer that works in your way you hold them down they won't want to go they won't want to leave you Make sure you learn from the best and um, you imbibe to his style. And um, that's number one. Number two, customer service is one of our problems in Nigeria. 
I wake up and I see a lot of photographers rising and at a point in their career they'll be falling. And one of the major problems is customer service. People lack customer service a lot. So, and people don't know that customers are the most important part of this business. Without them, the business will collapse. So we have to treat them with courtesy, with respect and empathy. But most photographers lack this. And um, again, you need to be technical in doing your business in terms of reading, checking online to see new things, new ideas. You have to do something new, something different, and you have to do it differently so that people will know you with your style and um, your style will speak for you. And um, it's very, very important that you do, you render out quality services and your services and what you do will speak for you anywhere you go and anytime, any day. Yeah, for every young entrepreneur that's just starting the business or that's looking forward to be like us, I want to tell you everything is achievable, everything is possible. Never look back and just keep going and remain focused and believe you make it. Everything is possible. Forget about the country being um, in this mess. Forget about the situation of this country. You can get loan, you can get this, you can get that. You can start with nothing, you can start with the little you have and um, put in your best, read a lot, seek advices, ask someone, two, three people as your mentor, check how they do their jobs and apply and even do more better. And I believe with this, sky is the beginning for you. Thank <laughs> you.